Hey guys, it's Anna. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here and you enjoy Disney related content, mom stuff, and lots of travel with your children, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell so you'll be notified when I upload a new video. And if you're returning, thanks so much for coming back. So today I have a little video for you guys about a review of um, a recent order that I got from the Magic Candle Company. I had to just look at the box just, just to make sure I'm not messing up the name. So, uh, ooh. okay, before I get to the not so great stuff, I'm going to tell you about the great stuff about um, what I think so far. So let's get started. So this is the box. I had to put some stickers to hide my address because, you know. Uh, so I already looked at the order, obviously. That's why I am saving, I guess, the worst for, <laughs> for last. I don't know. Um, but let me, I guess, kind of take it from the beginning. Like when I opened it, what I thought and how the presentation was and, and all that good stuff. So everything came in this basic... Um, FedEx box. Uh, it's. Uh, I, I think I ordered uh, Brain Freeze. I think I have six candles, so they perfectly fit uh, in two rows. So it's like one, two, three, one, two, three. So everything is nice and you know nice and snug. Um, they did have. I think I misplaced it. There was like um, something here, some paper, kind of just like um, bunched up together. I guess just to go over the top. But anyway. So the candles kind of sort of look like that. Well, the packaging. Um, so let me pull them out. Um, and let you know what I think. So each candle is individually bubble wrapped like this, which was great. Um, they included a packing slip. Kind of like this. Hiding my address. <laughs> Um, so I ordered six candles uh, they were the eight ounce candles and I got animation Floridian hunted um, flying over Africa um, Rome burning and flying over Fiji so I was so excited for certain scents like could not couldn't couldn't wait to get this order so okay and then they also give you this like Cute little card right it doesn't have my address so it has this cute little card adorable um, and they're offering a 20% discount code um, on your next box so if you guys want 20% off your next order if you haven't ordered from them yet uh, the magic the, the code is magic 20 and it says I think right over here. Okay, so let me open each one and tell you what I think about it. So this is flying over Africa. I was really looking forward to this scent. Oh, so hard to open. Okay, so smells amazing. Okay. Um, this is like my second time opening these candles. So right away I have um, wax at my fingertips. And this is part of the, the issue that I, that I have with these candles. So flying over Africa smells amazing. I'm on Soren 110%. So this is what the candle looks like inside. So, am I a little disappointed? Absolutely. And then this is the other side. But anyways, I figured it's okay. All right, uh, moving along to candle number two, which was haunted. Now, this smell I think it's a little strong for me and I can't say that it 100% reminds me of like Haunted Mansion. Maybe sort of, but no, 
not really. And I think it's a little bit too, too strong. I don't know what it would be like once it's lit, but I think if I was to order this again, I would prefer it to be a little bit lighter. So now this is candle number two. So if this is what it looks like. There we go. Um, so you see, okay. Uh, and then there's also wax on top. Moving along. Now, uh, this one I liked a lot, and I thought it really represents this hotel a lot, which is Grand Floridian. And this one is called. Floridian so it's clean and it's perfect do you see the difference absolutely perfect now the way this smells oh my gosh like it takes me straight to Grand Floridian like I don't know just something about the smell it's just so magical so I was happy to see that this candle was perfectly done. Okay, moving along. So now I have animation. Now, I'm not sure what this one was supposed to represent, just animation in general or the Art of Animation Hotel. Uh, it smells good, but it does not remind me of Art of Animation. So the candle smells good, but I'll be honest and say that it does not remind me of Art of Animation Hotel Resort if that's what it's supposed to be. It's kind of also strong, so I think just burning it a little bit, you probably, your whole house will smell like this candle. So I already have wax on my fingers, and like I said, when, when I opened this candle, I think this is where I kind of like got really disappointed and upset. So let me show you what it looks like. So you see, and then you could see, you know, the wax like came out over here and this is what it looks like. And then the wax is even on the side right there and inside as well. Okay, now I was kind of curious how this would smell because I love it when we're in Epcot and we go to Spaceship Earth, Rome Burning. Okay. It, it does smell like it, but I think it's, um, it's a very, it's a strong scent. I think maybe it would be good for fall. Um, or maybe like it would be a great gift for a guy. Like it's like it's like a masculine um, candle smell. So like when you're in Spaceship Earth and it's kind of like it smells good, but when you're smelling it here, I think it's a bit much for me. So this candle is perfect. It does have these like little I don't know dots or bubbles. But as you could see, it's a-okay. And this side is also nice and clean. All right, so this was another one I was so excited for, uh, Fiji, uh, flying over Fiji. Oh my, just taking it out of this bubble wrap. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. So I open it. It smells good, it's very light and refreshing, but I can't say that it 100% reminds me of um, flying over Fiji. I think flying over, over Africa smells a lot more to what it's supposed to smell than the Fiji. But anyway, so it smells great. Um, it's a light, refreshing scent. Um, I think I would definitely keep it. But then when I opened this candle, I pretty much was done. So 
let me show you. So this is what it looks like. You could see the wax kind of coming over the top. And there's actually a big chunk of wax over here as well. Okay, so with that said, out of the um, out of these six candles that I ordered, two of them are in good condition. So it was the Rome Burning and Grand Floridian. Um, and then I guess one of them is kind of like okay-ish, which I think is the Haunted Mansion. And then the other three with Art of Animation, well, with animation candle uh, being the worst one. So now, I think what I got upset was, um, this is like $120 worth of candles plus shipping, with, or with, ship, with shipping. So these candles are, doesn't say here, but I believe they are $16.95 per candle, and these are the eight ounce candles. So, sand things happen, but I was like, I was upset, you know what I mean? Like, I didn't use like a 50% coupon. I didn't get free shipping. I paid full price for an investment, literally, uh, because like I, I, I wanted to have these you know, beautiful candles. I love candles. I wanted to have these candles at my house. I wanted them to burn. I wanted to smell like Disney and just have that little piece of Disney in my house. Um, so I reached out to the company and I was just like, you know, hey, like I got my order. Um, this is what it looks like. I reached out to them on Facebook and I got in like an automated message saying that you need to email us. So I copied everything and sent them an email and I think within like an hour or two they responded. Uh, the email was very like not professional like I, I must say it was not professional and I don't want to go into too many details um, but it went along the lines saying um, like oh this happens uh, must have happened during shipment uh, the candles must have melted so it kind of got me thinking well why do out of my six candles why four of them melted and kind of went all over the place and two didn't was it because they weren't done properly because because I went and I watched their videos how they make their candles now I'm not a candle expert but I went to watch their videos and the way they were making the candles there's like a designated um, time period that they have to leave the candles so they cool and they harden before they actually can I guess seal them up and put the labels and put them on the shelf so it kind of got me thinking like well maybe my order wasn't done properly and not just my order maybe like a whole batch like you never know um, then when you know again they went on to say that they melted during shipment I mean they're in Florida I'm in New York I have watched countless reviews and I've never seen a candle like this you, you know what I mean like and it's not just one like it's four candles that are just not right um, so anyways um, I think maybe on their website they should have said that this is a possibility that this can happen and maybe it happens more frequently during the I don't know summer months and then I think I would have reconsidered my decision and maybe not ordered them right now but waited for fall and ordered the candles then so we went back and forth with the, uh, with a few emails to the point where they offered to replace it but I had to pay for shipping and send the candles back now if it was me and I got this order like I'm not a fan of this one too much right I'm not a fan of art of animation like I'll still use them maybe I would re-gift them to somebody um, but if I didn't like it and I wanted to send it back and they do offer you that like if you don't like the scent you can send it back and we'll send you something else I understand I would be responsible for the shipping but I did not order holiday candles you know what I mean so they would not um, 
they would not pay for shipping. Um, so we just kind of went back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and it's now just middle of nowhere and we're in the middle of nowhere kind of sort of but anyways so that is my experience um i will definitely not going to be ordering any more candles from them because i'm really disappointed with the quality of the candles um and and just the customer service like i just thought they could have been a little bit more professional a little bit more helpful and understanding um, the only helpful thing that they did offer was that you know send them back pay for shipping and then from what i understood i have to pay for shipping for them to ship it back to me um or they said light the candle and it should melt into place um if I do light the candle and it doesn't go into place, then they're not going to take my candles back. You know what I mean? So it's kind of like, I'm not going to light the candles like until we figure out what's happening. And like, I don't feel comfortable lighting a candle, you know, that looks like this. I'm not a candle expert, but like... The last thing I need during this pandemic is for my house to burn down. Like, let's be for real. You know, and, and then like this one, um, it's not centered anymore. You see, like it's tilting more this way where majority of the wax went. I don't know. So I have these candles. I wanted to give you guys my review. This is what happened. I'm all covered in wax, by the way. It's all, I mean, it's it smells fantastic um but this is my review so i hope you have better luck uh from all the videos i've seen i mean everyone's getting perfect candles i don't know where you guys live do you guys live in alaska and are you ordering them like in december <laughs> because i i don't i don't know what happened so anyways not gonna make this video any longer this is my review of um the candles that I received from Magic Candle Company so I'm super disappointed with the quality and the service but some of the smells that I got are amazing like I said um, flying over Africa is probably my most favorite one and I'm just like upset I can't light it because one it's damaged um, two I don't want to light it but then they won't take it back and three of course I don't know if I'm keeping them so that's it guys um let me know down in the comments below if you've ever had a situation like this and i guess maybe i don't know what would you do if you were in my position would you be okay paying full price for a candle like this and and and, and what if this was a gift what if i ordered these candles to gift for birthdays holidays i don't know like what if you are my friend and you got a candle from me that looked like this? Um, I think you'd be like, um, hey Anna, are you okay there in the gift giving department? <laughs> Anyways guys, thanks so much for watching. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what you think about this whole situation and I'll see you real soon. Take care, bye bye. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this honest, honest review. See you later. Bye.